it's MJ welcome back to my channel if this is your first time welcome we're so happy to have you here if this is not your first time welcome back I really appreciate you returning to my channel today we're gonna to be doing some quick office appropriate Halloween makeup and the first thing we're gonna start off is with this happy cute panda bear so if you'd like to see how this look is follow along we're gonna have a great time and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below thank you so the first thing that I'm going to be doing seems a little bit reverse, but I'm going to be taking a white pencil and I'm going to line kind of where I want to be with my eye makeup. And I'm going all the way underneath my eye because I want all of this to be really highlighted because I'm doing a rounded smoky eye. And I already have my base, my foundation on. It's really no big change from the norm there. So that's something you don't have to worry too much about with this. Now that I've got two big white circles around my eyes, I'm gonna be taking a beauty sponge and my fingers. Now that I've blended all that white out and around my eyebrows, I'm gonna be taking a black pencil and I'm gonna lay in the shape very lightly. And this is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. I want this look to be more rounded than cat-eyed, so I'm making sure that as I blend this with my finger over the lid, that it's very, very soft with no harsh lines and no straight out wings. So to do that, I'm kind of going inwards instead of pulling out with the color. Now going in with a medium gray color, I'm going to pack it on to my whole lid inside of that circular shape that I created. And I'm going into the crease, but not above the crease at this moment. Now with a very, very dark black, I'm going to take that and I'm gonna put it into my crease. And I'm gonna get the whole crease with this. And I'm starting to carve out that circular shape. Now with a fluffy blending brush, I'm gonna go in and clean up all those harsh edges. Keeping the circular shape and not creating any type of sharp wing. I'm now going to be taking a silvery shade and putting that right in the center of my lid. Now we want this panda look to be cute, not gothic or scary. So I'm gonna take a fun baby pink and I'm gonna put that right on the inner corner of my eye and just blend it inwards just a little bit. Also going to help to make your eyes look brighter, wider, and more awake. And again with a clean fluffy brush, we're just going to blend. And I want to bring this gray up a little bit higher because this is technically still costume makeup. So I'm going to use a very light shimmery gray above the crease. Now, if this was something that you weren't gonna be wearing as part of a costume, you just wanted to use a monochromatic gray eye, that's where you could do a little bit of a silver highlight there or maybe a bone color. But happy little pandas, they like a nice silver gray highlight. So I did go off camera and do my brows a little thicker and a little darker than I would normally do to match the eye. Normally I would do mine like a plum color to match my hair or a taupey color that's very neutral, but for today I went with a thicker dark gray brow. I also went in and did my waterline black with the same NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. And now I'm gonna be taking a dark gray shade and going underneath my eye to smoke out the eye a little bit.
And because I want my eyes to look rounder rather than sharpened out, I am going to be making my smoke a little bit wider in the center than on the edges. This creates the illusion of a more rounded eye. I'm going to be taking a little bit of a lavender highlighting stick and I'm doing this on the apples of my cheeks. And once I have this on the apples of my cheeks, to soften it up. And with just a little bit of setting powder on my fingers, I'm going over the top of that area to brighten and whiten it just a little bit more. That's giving me the illusion of a very, very light blush. Now, depending on how cool your office is with face paint, you might wanna just stop here with a little bit of a pink lip. But my office is pretty lenient when it comes to holidays. So I'm gonna be taking that pencil in black bean and I'm gonna give myself a little panda nose. And I'm just going over the tip of my nose and down It's almost got like a triangular shape to it. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that black shadow and just sharpen up the lines. That's also gonna set it so this powder doesn't get all smeary during the day. Oh, that's really cute, I like that. I might just, can that just be a thing that we do? Like can panda nose be the new thing, can it? I'd love for panda nose to be the new thing. Hashtag panda nose. So I realized I wanted something a little bit cuter for the cheek blush area where I tried to kind of do like a little bit of a shimmer and then whiten it up. I'm gonna take a pinky pinky blush and just tap it on the tops of the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to be doing a little bit of ombre lip by taking this hot pink lipstick and just doing the insides of my lips. Now I'm gonna be taking a little bit of a pink lip balm and fading that out towards my nude outer lip. You could totally use brushes to do this, but it was just easier with my finger because the lip gloss was getting low. Okay, panda peeps, we're not quite done yet. We are gonna come back to our eyes and take a little bit of a white pigment powder and just touch the inner corners of our eyes. Once again, we're making them look a little bit brighter, a little bit more awake, and a little bit rounder. Now we're an awake panda. I'm gonna be taking some somewhat loopy lashes. They're a little bit on the thicker side and putting those right on there, no liner. Now that I have my lashes on, my lips are rosy. My eyeshadow is round and panda-esque. We have the final touch. Hot Topic had this super cute panda headband. I just think it's very cute.